Let's observe this question. Uh, below code and as well as the meaning of the particular code also. For an example, if you go for the first one, P dollar sign Q means P is not smaller than Q. This is the condition we have. Okay, nice. After that, P and the Q means P is neither smaller than nor equal. Of course, we have different different signs and as well as different different sentences. According to that sentences and uh, particular symbols, we need to realize the particular point. What is the exact situation we have? Right? This is called coded inequalities. Very interesting question. But uh, don't confuse, very easy. Uh, five marks in banking. Okay? Don't confuse. Uh, first of all, I will go for the first sentence. P dollar sign Q means P is not smaller than Q. What do you mean by that? P is not smaller than Q means what? P may be equal or greater, right? Actually, we have four conditions. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. These are the basic ideas we have. Yes or no? But according to the particular given sentence, we need to realize it. Observe now, P dollar sign Q means P is not smaller than Q. Not smaller, out of four, not smaller. What are those four? What are those four? Be careful. Uh, we have equal sign or less than sign and as well as greater than sign. Less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. These are the one, two, three, four, five. Five situations are there, right? Equal is a different story. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or equal. Right? Out of this file, we need to observe the given situation. Dollar sign Q means P is not smaller than Q. P is not smaller, smaller means not less than. Then what about remaining? We will have all, right? It may be less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. But don't go for less than. Why? Because P is not smaller. The first person is not smaller. So that's why, that's why, don't confuse. First of all, we need to understand the basic concept. P is not smaller than Q means what? P may be equal or greater. But not less or less than or equal to. That's why we need to eliminate this to particular sentences, right? In the given situation, P may be P may not be less than or less than or equal to. That's why we need to go for greater or greater than or equal to. That is the basic idea. It may be equal and greater, but not less. That's it. Why? Because we don't have a less concept here. That's why we can go for dollar sign means don't confuse me. Dollar signs. P dollar sign. Don't confuse. Q dollar. P dollar sign Q means first person should be should be greater than or equal. Yes or no? Yes. First person should be greater than or equal. That's it. It's clearly showing that the first person should be greater than or equal. That's it. Not smaller than. That's why we have to eliminate that smaller condition. Luckily, we may have greater or greater than or equal. Simple concept. Don't confuse. Okay. Nice. Then, P is at the rate Q. Means, P at the rate Q means what? P is neither smaller than nor equal. Not smaller, not equal. Not smaller, not equal. Compulsory, greater only. Directly, we can say. Smaller and not equal. Logically, greater. Directly we can say greater. Right. So, P at the rate, be careful. P at the rate, at the rate, right? P at the rate, P at the rate Q. P at the, uh, P at the rate Q means, what we have? P at the rate Q means, P is neither smaller than nor equal. Logically, P should be greater than Q. Which is not an equal sign. That's it. Basic idea. Don't confuse me. Okay, fine. Then what about the third one? P ash Q. What do you mean by this? P ash Q means P is neither greater than nor equal. Not greater, not equal. Not equal, not greater. That's composite less than. That's it. P less than Q. Simple concept. Okay. Uh, what about next sentence? To get the command on this particular subject, I'm going to give you the small ways. Small ways means the easiest to base. What do you mean by easiest ways? Depth story. So, if I go slowly, you can get the realization, right? That's my intention, okay? Don't confuse me. Okay, no problem at all. Uh, what about next one? P and Q. Very interesting task. P and Q. What do you mean by P and Q? Here we have one sentence. P and Q means, P and Q means, P is neither greater nor smaller. Okay, neither greater nor smaller. Neither greater nor smaller means, neither greater nor smaller. Logically equal, right? Here is showing that P is equal to Q. That's it. Nothing is there. P is equal to Q. Clear cut story. Then what about next one? Uh, P star Q means P will have star symbol. Star Q means uh, P star Q means uh, P is not greater than Q. P is not P is not greater than Q. Greater than Q means what? Not greater means compulsory. There will be equal size and as well as less chance, right? 
whenever we have a particular word greater than or greater or greater means what compulsory lesser or equal that's why p will be less than or equal to q that's it these are the situations you know observe clearly dollar sign means greater right greater than or equal at that means what greater only as means what less than and means what p equal to q star means what p is less than or equal to q that's it these are the symbols we have whenever we have symbols just simply is the particular symbols by this particular signs so greater than sign is there less than sign is there those should be replaced okay fine no problem here this is the basic condition we have uh, if you go for the conclusions actual statements we want statements what is our first statement according to that given statements we need to filter these all things for an example if i go for the first statement what is the statement is very important the statement is what h at the rate at the rate is there right okay h at the rate t at the rate means just replace it h at the rate means we need to replace this at the rate by whom at the rate at the rate is nothing but at the rate is nothing but greater that's it greater this can be greater okay, for your comfort only but may not to produce there is another issue uh, let's go for t as f t as f t as f means what do you mean by as we need to replace the sign right as means less than q is it clear p is less than q as means p is less than q that's it it will be less observe it now h less than t but t less than f right that's why we need to think of we'll discuss it later the derivation if i go for the third one observe clearly what is the third one uh, f and e yes f and sign is there f and e what do you mean by i e man? f and e means what f and e observe it clearly f and e is nothing but if and e is nothing but equal yes we know equal sign here don't confuse it's very equal sign s equal the last but not least what is next one e star v that's it e star v means already you idea e star v e star v uh, in this e star v what we have e star v is nothing but e star v is nothing but clearly showing that less than or equal to v less than or equal to uh, what we have next word uh, actually we have sign right less than or equal to v get it don't confuse okay less than or equal to v it's clearly showing that absolutely clearly h greater than t next condition is very important t less than f that's why we need to make a relation between these two also the common person is what t only right okay clear cut story but don't confuse uh according to the given statements and uh, particular signs symbols i can replace all the sign values right after replacing signs we need to give a link up in between them that's it make it simple if i go for link up don't confuse all of you uh h Direct statement. Direct statement can be written as what? Greater than t less than uh, less than f will be common is equal to e is less than or equal to v. But if you observe it clearly, there is a relation between t and what is the situation over here? F right? There will be f not one confused. F is there, right? Uh, if you observe it properly, t less than f. Logical f and e will be equal, right? F and e will be equal according to the given statement. F and e will be equal. That is, T will be less than F and E, and as well as less than V also. T is the smaller when we compare to F, E, and F and E will be same. E will be less than or equal to V. But you observe it properly. There is no particular relation between H and V. You cannot say why because T will be lesser than H, right? Lesser than H. That's why there is no relation between H and V. So we cannot have we we can't decide H and V relation. That's it. Oh, no problem at all. Uh, t is less than f, that's why t will be smaller. f and e will be equal. v will be the greater one. Of course, e will be equal and the lesser, right? That's why don't confuse. If I go for the uh, conclusions, we'll have four conclusions, right? For those four conclusions, which one is true? According to that particular conclusions, we can uh, select the options. Okay? We'll have conclusions and as well as options, right? According to conclusions, we need to filter which one is false, which one is true. Okay, don't confuse. Uh, if I go for conclusions, conclusion number one. What is our conclusion number one? Uh, v dollar sign F. Observe it. V dollar sign. The relation between V and F, right? V will be here, F will be here. V dollar sign means what do you mean by dollar sign? Dollar sign means greater. Yes. V greater than F. Yes or no? V greater than F. Yes or no? V will be here, F will be here. Logically, F will be less than or equal to V. Right? F will be less than or equal to V. Logically, if you observe reverse. If you observe it well, logically v will be v will be greater than f. Yes, it's correct. V will be greater than f. 
true. First one is true. Don't confuse me. First one is true. If I go for second one, don't confuse. First one is true. Don't confuse me. It will be greater. That's why true. If I go for second one, second one will be e at the rate t. e at the rate t. e at the rate t means at the rate is nothing but at the rate is nothing but greater, right? Logically, we should have greater value. Sir, now what is at the rate value? Yes, greater. If you observe e and t, where is e? Here is e. Where is t? Here. Logically, t will be lesser. E will be greater, right? T lesser. Logically, if you observe it reverse, reverse. If you want to make it reverse, you can take uh, all signs as reverse. Less can be greater. Greater can be less. Less than or equal to can be greater than or equal to. That is called reverse story. We don't want that story. T and E relation will be compulsory less. Why? Because F and E both are equal, right? Compulsory T will be less. Don't confuse. Okay, fine. Uh, e will be greater, T will be less. It's true. It's also true. True. Don't confuse. True. If I go for third one, third statement is very important. Uh, H at the rate V. Don't confuse. H at the rate V. What do you mean by again at the rate? At the rate already is there, right? What do you mean by the rate it's lagging? Uh, H at the rate V. Same style, same concept. At the rate is nothing but at the rate. At the rate. Uh, H at the rate V. It should be greater. Yes, very powerful. It should be greater. If it is possible, you cannot compare H value and V value. Whenever we have here lesser value and a greater value, we can't compare. That's why there is no relation between H and V. We can't say. That's why it will be, what is saying? H is greater than V, illogical. We can't compare. So false. Last bit, third one will be false. Uh, last one is what? Fourth one. Don't confuse all of you. Two ash V. 2 ash v means, what do you mean by ash? 2 ash means less. Or oh, t will be less, right? When you compare to v. t will be less when we compare to v. Logically, it is true. So, it's clearly showing that 1, 2 and 4 follows. Logically, 1, 2, 4 is cut. The best option is what? If I go for the best option, 1, 2, 4 are true. v is the best option. v can be our answer. Don't confuse all of you. you what I am saying? Better to concentrate on central government jobs. Okay. Either it's a CGL, CHSL, or else if you want to go for MTS, RRB, and as well as banking. Okay. Uh, Affluent students come to Ashok Nagar. Uh, IIT, MSET, industrial students come to Amirpet.